So, when the stripes go away, that does that mean you're good to go? You're done stirring? No. But if there's any left, you're probably not done stirring. And what two chemical bonds are these? Uh, this is, these are probably long chain polymers. So the two individual things are called oglomers, which means they're one thing. Ogla means one. So each one is its own chemical, and when you put them together, the individual atoms bind together and they make long chains of polymers, which is multiple things, ers, multiple ers. See how all the ripples are going away now? Some of them are still in there, but it's not as twisty as it was before. If you don't get this stuff mixed up right, it'll never harden. And then it'll just be a mess. Why don't you just leave it without the why don't why do you need this? Why can't you just go off without it? I mean won't it harden eventually? No. Those two things, they might, the hardener might harden, but the epoxy resin won't. And the two together come, they make a really solid, protective. And so your goal is to put that yeah. into what? So once I'm done mixing this for three minutes here, I'll pour it into that other one and I'll mix it for three minutes there. And what's in the other one? Nothing. Nothing. So what, and... the, what that does is there's these are different densities so some of it wants to stay on the bottom so when I pour it into the other one that takes what was on the bottom and puts it on the top and helps helps mix it up a little more and so eventually when you put it in that one what are you gonna do are you gonna put it onto this yeah and that's the goal to harden it and that'll put a layer on there that will harden up just like that one did oh I thought you took said it took three days for it to harden it takes three days for it to harden all the way. That doesn't mean the top's not hardened. Well, the top's not hard hard on that, It's but it's pretty hard. But you want to pour the next layer when they're sticky, still a little bit sticky. So, okay, we've been doing three minutes on this one. So now I'm gonna take this. So you can see there's still some little lines in there. That's That's from differences in density. I'm gonna take this. Wait, hold up, I'm not recording. Okay, I think I'm recording a video. Oh, well, this is the hardener, so you put the hardener in first. I'm gonna mix in 24 ounces of it. You know what, I'll go ahead and do 32 ounces, that's his first line. So that's the hardener. Is there a time frame for the videos? No, you just got to tell it to stop. Okay. And, oops, there's still some water in that one, so we'll put it in this one. So pour this in here. Epoxy resin in. We're going to put exactly the same amount. All right, so. And it's thick. Now you pour this into this and you start stirring. Is 
It changed color. Well, yeah, it does. All right. Now, you got to stir for three minutes. And you need to stir like this so that you pick up the stuff off the bottom and get it all mixed nice. Kind of looks like bleach in the photo. Yeah. You've got two different consistencies mixing together, so they're causing lensing of the light and whatever. So, three minutes, so it's 4.10, it's 4.11 right now, so that means at 4.15. Then I gotta pour it into the other one and mix it for another three minutes and then it's ready to pour. So go ahead and kill the video. Okay, bowl coating. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour it in here. So it turns it all over. Mixes it up. So see all the lines in there again? Mm hmm Of different density? Mm hmm That's because this other stuff, you know, some of it was on the bottom instead of on the top. I hear a thunderstorm going in the background. I looked at the weather and it said it was supposed to stay away from us, but we'll see. So now we've got to mix here for another three minutes. So it's 16 after, so we go until 19. And so what was in here? That was the same stuff. That's why those are purple inside. Only I put a color into in it to make it that dark blue purple. This I'm leaving clear on purpose. Well, uh, on purpose. This For the I'm purpose of? I just want to be clear. Oh. The, hard, the worst part's all the bubbles. See the bubbles in it? Step back so the sunlight's on it. See all the bubbles? Yep. I really don't want the bubbles, but some some of those bubbles are probably don't. No, those are all air bubbles. And there's ways to make them come out. Now this this is uh, when this stuff hardens, it's an exothermic reaction. That means it gives off heat. And uh, you, re I really. <laughs> when I do this because it'll get so hot it'll burn your hands like literally burn them well it's June 5th and you're only 50 years old so it's not June 5th it's July 5th maybe you should not burn your hand now what are you gonna do dad here feel the bottom of this the hot yeah it's hotter than outside which is yeah remember I said it's an exothermic reaction heating up and the reaction's happening and it's starting to harden. So now... So now... So now I'm going to very carefully do some tipping here. So that it runs. And so how are you going to make it go over here? I'm going to do the same oh, thing. Oh, sorry. Stay out of the way, hon. Huh? I don't think it's moving. Don't hit your head or the fan. Yeah, that would suck. It's slowly moving down. Yep. A small question mark? How 
How are you going to get in that corner? Just chill. Very carefully. It's going to run in there. This looks like it holds you. It ain't easy. It's like being green. Kermit says it ain't easy being green. Okay. Got it into that corner. I don't see it on the camera. Oh, now I do. It's looking right at it. It's slowly moving down. Yep. It's a liquid. It'll flow. I took a really close-up photo of what looked like it could be out, but it was on this table. So, I thought that was pretty cool, so I took a picture of it. Okay, cool. Okay. Now I gotta tip it this way. Oh shit. Well don't do that. Actually do that. You probably need it. that corner. What the hell is it running over the side? Shit, oh, oh, there's yeah. a bunch running over the side. Alright. And so, how are you gonna... What are you gonna do now? Okay. It's not going to be even now that you did that. But it will flow. But it will flow. Because it's still liquid. So now, I need to get these back in here. Side and get it level. Dang it, I didn't spill all that over here. But this is a bubble right there. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it, it might burn you. I'm so you had an issue, and it was running over the sides. Yeah. So what you did was, you took a a ruler, and you... Well, I, put a sh I put the shims in there to shim up the sides, and I'm looking at this. This is a level. See the bubble? Yes. If that bubble's in the middle, that means it's level. Okay. So, 
You want it to be level long ways and sideways? If it's level, it, it, it is both. Okay. It just is. Okay. So. The, uh, oh, I need another, I need another paper towel, another paper towels. I can't carry this inside. So is this going to be really sticky? Not when it dries. Is it, is it going to be really smooth? Yes, it's going to be like glass. Okay. Gravity, gravity is going to spread it all out. I've got it set so it's level. The tops of these, these edges, they make a trough. It'll just run out and level itself out. Gravity will hold it level and it'll harden. Do you think this is what they make some glass out of? No. No? No, this is epoxy. This is something that they do to, for uh, tables and stuff to waterproof them, make them indoor, outdoor, or whatever. But... Do you think they would put epoxy on outdoor windows? They would not put it on a window. Oh, never mind. There's no point in it. 